hello youtube how are you doing so it's been quite a long time since i uploaded a video on this channel so we'll get started first thing is why not create react app so if you see this this is a uh, legacy uh, react documentation if you see this is a older one basically and go to installation and create a new react app if you see they are using this tool uh, create react app uh, to create or get started with react js now the thing is they have moved, moved on from this officially uh, if you go to the newer docs this is a newer doc uh, under react.dev and uh, if you see uh, they're recommending us to use a framework you know uh, react.js itself is a framework but uh, on top of that they're using uh, you know they're asking us to use a framework to uh, set up a react app and the very first thing that pops uh, pops up when you say a uh, framework for react.js is next.js now next.js is uh, cool uh, uh, we can set up a react app from, from this but if you're a beginner on getting started with the react.js development this might become a little heavier on the side because you don't or might not need um, server level and stuff uh, if you're or if you're using your own uh, custom backend like uh, spring boot java etc or python for say so uh, that's why um, what we can do is uh, we'll settle on a middle ground like if you can search for this tool called wheat now i understand it is v-i-t and you want to pronounce it as white but why it is wheat we can see as simple as that it is french word called wheat which means fast so that's what they claim like this is faster than the uh, whatever the tools which you're using uh, before like uh, create react app now if you go to get started section here this um, is a pretty good doc which you want to go through and understand um, you know how to set this up and stuff and uh, they have the supported templates here and you can see react is one of them and you have the comments all this uh, to use to set up this uh, wait and get started with react so let's do that first uh, i have this uh, folder created called react setup um, uh, setup react under d um, ignore this part because this is deleted okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear this and uh, and copy this we're gonna be using uh, npm not yarn and make sure node is installed in your system i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh you now uh, copy paste this uh inside our tool and after you do this it will ask you a couple of questions first thing is project name what i'm gonna do is you see you saw that um, i have deleted a folder i'm gonna uh, rename it as the same or you can just say re anything, any, any any project name you want. I'm gonna just say uh, set up React Wait, and of course uh, it will give us the options for all the frameworks that we can set it up with. And we're gonna choose React, and we can use a, a either use TypeScript or JavaScript. In our case, we are gonna use JavaScript, right? So just click on JavaScript or <laughs> select JavaScript. That is out of habit. <laughs> click click. Okay, now. It has all the settings needed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the directory and install the dependencies we have chosen, right? So you can just go set up React. You can just tab and you can install the dependencies first. And uh, it's gonna take some uh, seconds, not even a minute to uh, get all the things installed, right? now once that is installed we'll preview an app like uh, preview the react app how it looks like and you can see the difference between um, create react app and this how it looks and we can go through the folder structures as well in a minute i'll let it install okay now it is installed properly now what you can do is um, fire it up you can use npm run dev to fire it up and you can see it is running in uh, this thing 5173 you can just go to localhost 5173 and you see uh, wheat plus react and it is up and running successfully yes we have installed wheat hooray okay now don't want this go to another tab i'm in the same project and i'm gonna go to the thing we have created and gonna you use the shorthand to open the uh, vs code now vs code is the most recommended editor for um, you know development for react.js or any javascript for that sake and you can see uh, there's a difference between uh, create react app and uh, how this folder is structured you can see in the html is in the root but um, in, in CRA it was inside and you can see uh, all the stuff looks good and very less resources for that 
so this is up uh, what we are going to do is for now minimize this minimize this as well and uh, we gonna uh, do some of the uh, popular plugins installation so first is eslint so eslint will help you to uh, format the code and uh, follow some of the rules right which will help you uh, be a better developer in react so i'm gonna do uh, install it as a dev dependency because we don't need it in production we are using this only for our development purpose so we can do npm install iphone d eslint so it installs the eslint uh, to your application and what you're gonna do is we're gonna uh, initialize this with the configuration so uh, what you can do is npm init at eslint slash config why this is needed is we're gonna uh, enforce uh, code styling and some of the formatting stuff which takes care of how your code looks and professionally right so just do this and if you as soon as you click enter and it will ask you wow, what is the purpose of you installing eslint for us it's not just for checking syntax and find problems it is for checking syntax find problems and uh, tell me if there is a uh, code style that i need to be changed so we will pick the third option and of course we are we are going to be using uh, javascript here and uh, react is our framework and do you does your project use typescript of course no and where, where does your code run it is browser and how would you like to define a style for your project now you can define a custom style or it is recommended to um, you know follow a popular style guide right so we can use use a popular style guide and you can use the airbnb one and uh, of course we're gonna uh, have this configuration file as a javascript file and uh, you can just click on this and it will show all the dependencies which you have listed which is needed for this to um, uh, configuration so you just uh, select yes to install it and we will be using npm as our package manager just uh, select that and it will start with the installation of all the uh, dependencies Yep. Uh, now, see all the uh, successfully created dot es lint uh, cgs file, and you go here. You can see here, and let's see uh, the thing we have selected. It's from Airbnb, and we'll close this for now. And if you go to app dot jsx, it's already showing us errors like why and what. So, say this. So we'll close this for now and we need some uh, custom configuration for us. For example, let's say I want uh, ESLint to uh, save, uh, like format the code on whenever I save a file, right? So we're going to do that. Before that, we're going to install uh, two of the most recommended plugins or I say extensions for. So what you can do is I've already installed them. So I'm going to. Uh, ask you to go and search if you can search here eslint it is by microsoft uh, if you are not installed it install it and the second thing which i'm gonna uh, recommend is prettier can go ahead and install this i have it already because i do uh, development uh, regularly on this uh, uh, vs code so after this uh, come back here come back to the root folder uh, and create a new folder called um, dot vs code right so if you can as soon as you see vs code it is a directory for uh, uh, you know only uh, it, it, this folder basically is read only by vs code um, editor so you can go ahead and create a new file called settings.json now uh, you might be thinking what am i doing so if you go to the settings and if you go to settings here there are settings defined here for this vs code and if you click on this json this is the same thing uh, it is a settings.json which will be uh, read by our VS code. So we need some custom configuration. That's why I'm creating a settings.json and inside dot VS code directly. So now the thing is I'll, I'll, I'll add this configuration. I will explain why. So don't worry. I'll uh, add this into a GitHub gist and I will leave that link below in the description. You can uh, get it from there. And 
just save this and what it means is um select the default formatter which we have in which we have installed the plugin and you can see format on save is true for this editor and not only for javascript react but entire editor we are making it true so that whenever whatever the file you um, save uh, it will format certain things at least and this is for settings for prettier some of the settings which is uh, required like use tabs and the tab width you can define there are a lot of settings you can explore um, we'll keep it simple very simple and we'll see the magic happen right uh, i'll go to uh, app.jsx uh, just make sure um, like i'll just save this file i'm doing control s right now and you see uh, some of the things are formatted i'll do again i'll undo this change you can see no semicolon here it says missing semicolon missing semicolon i'll as soon as i click on save it goes away now what is this react must be in scope when using jsx so what you can do is uh what it means is you want to import react it is not uh, a mandatory now but it, it is always a, a better thing at least i do it you see you see i have as soon as i i imported this react there is already an import uh here for as use state when i click on save it combines these two that's how it will make your life easier these plugins and this configuration now what it says is uh, missing an explicit type attribute for button so we can fix that by using uh, type is equals to um, uh, submit and you see i've used single code as soon as i save this it says um, it, it is turned into double quotes now the thing is it says count is already defined because we have a count here it's not an uh, issue but you can always change this and yeah that is it and this is this is with the relative path you can fix it anyway now uh, i'll minimize this one and open the browser minimize this as well and we have some error and you can see and i don't need this basically uh, we'll remove this and you can see that uh, app uh, that uh, the, the wheat logo is gone that's fine i just wanted to show you we can fix it but um, i don't want to make this video any longer so uh, this this app is up and running now the one thing uh one advantage of weed is because it says it is fast it, it comes up with the heart reloading factor what i mean by heart reloading is as soon as you make some change let's say there's a div uh there's a paragraph here i clear this and i click on save as soon as I see this this component is re-rendered and i uh undo it click on save as soon as i click on save it is up and here so uh, that's how we can enforce the code styling and formatting and stuff um here for example let's say uh, i have uh, some div here and i have some h1 heading uh, this is heading now i'm not done anything so as soon as i add this and click on save you see this is entirely this thing now i can do one more thing as well just to show you um, I can say this is paragraph paragraph and i click on save see it is formatted and we see as soon it is reflected here so that's how this uh, plugins and uh, you know this configuration works for you uh, and help uh, you to write a clean and better code it's uh, you know better as we um, said earlier it's a good practice to have this since your early stage of development so that it will make you a better developer so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions drop those uh, in the comments below i will uh, try to answer all of them and i have some exciting uh, react js projects lined up which i'll be uh, uploading on this channel so stay tuned please subscribe and uh, yeah thank you